Previously on Gene Roddenberry's Earth Final Conflict. Any luck with the tail on code? I was up all night developing a whole new form of mathematics before I could even get started. It is a nine dimension matrix. She must solve all nine. Humans are only now beginning to comprehend four. The mothership shutting down again. It's my fault. If I could have broken the code. You did everything a human being could do. Liam! You must be hoping this artifact will lead to more of my Al's research. I feel certain that Bael believed that one day our two species would be equal partners. So if Sandoval and Zohar beat us to the punch, Zohar will destroy anything that doesn't fit his version of reality. Concentrate, Major. Focus your mind, order your thoughts, make some kind of effort. Yes. Shabra. I lost it. I... I couldn't sustain it. Dismissed. Mael has cursed us by designing his manuscript so that a human is required to access it. Do you imagine 2,000 years ago he had any idea how useless humans would remain? Mael had faith in their evolution. Mael was a fool. We must have the information now. It was just revealed to me that the next chapter of the manuscript is a primer on synthesizing core energy. We are on the precipice of salvation. Only if Major Kincaid is ready. The knowledge that will save us is here, and I will possess it. No matter what price I must exact from humanity or Liam Kincaid. But if it eludes his grasp, then I will summon him every day until the end of his days. Secure the chamber. Come to Earth with the promise of peace. An alien race called the Talons. But there are those who resist these alien companions. For the Talons' true mission, the secrets they hide will forever alter our world. The fate of humanity now relies on those who dare challenge the future of Earth. Ciao. We're supposed to be here at noon. Per carità, what's 20 minutes? There was a sale on Ferragamo pumps. I don't have time to talk about shoes. You people are always in such a hurry. You don't have time to enjoy life. In Italia, we conduct business like civilized people, over a glass of vino, not on the street with other common people, per carità. You have the item? Oh, che bellissima. I'll need to see the cash first. I have an honest face, no? No. Mother Funopoly.
I was buying a pair of shoes. Ferragamo? Mm. Mm, magnifico. When all of a sudden, there was a... Come si dice? A tornado. Out of nowhere. Tornado? Si. Madonna mia. I, I couldn't breathe. I couldn't move. Sounds like an energy vortex to me. Come? A sophisticated containment device. Law enforcement uses it, but only as a last resort. Ah, law enforcement. I should have known. All lawmen are scarafaggio. Ma I am a contessa. Capito, contessa? Mm -hmm. Allora, I have my rights, no? No. I mean, yes, but it wasn't law enforcement. I checked both federal and local through my back door. No one was assigned to the village this morning. Then who did this to me? Vera, if I remember correctly, the last time you called us for help, you were caught dealing in black market tail on artifacts, no? Vera, you're gonna have to tell us what you were doing besides buying shoes. I was acquiring a piece of art. Aha, uh -huh. tail on art? It was a very special request from a very wealthy client. Actually, he gave me a picture. Vuoi vedere? Miles' relic. Exquisite, isn't it? I understand it's very old. Look at the detail. Vera, that's more than just a Picasso. It contains an encoded manuscript with secrets vital to the Talons. It's like their holy grail. Zor had me on the mothership again yesterday. I got a glimpse of another chapter. Something about making Cora energy. I thought that was impossible. So did I. But maybe Ma'el found another way. In any case, that relic is kept under maximum security. There's no way your supplier could have gotten close to it. Ah, see, I gave him the override codes. How did you get override codes? From my client. And you've already sold him the relic? No, no, no. There was no selling. That's why I called you. I was about to acquire the piece when I was sucked into that vacuum. Vortex. Well, so where is it now? Amore, you think I know? There were dirty little people running and screaming everywhere. Anyone could have taken it. Where do we start? Vera's buyer knows way too much. I never met him face to face. All he gave me was an address and a key card. I was supposed to make contact once I obtained the piece. Oh, dio mio. Liam, what do you think he will do? I, I took a deposit in advance. Tell him you've got the merchandise and set up the meeting. But I don't have it. We'll go. In the meantime, you can't stay at your apartment. We're gonna have to hide you until we know more. Hide? Where? Oh, oh no, no. No, I, I am a contessa. I, I will hide, okay? I will hide in a villa, in a yacht, but not in a trailer. Liam, Liam, please. But, is this my new roommate? In the flesh. Hi, I'm Street. Ah, ciao, signorina Street. You're not going anywhere. Liam. I have a tiny sailboat in the middle of the Mediterranean. No one would ever notice. Amore, you could uh, you could come with me, you know, to protect me, you know. It wouldn't be safe. No? For you or for me? Both. Mm. Want to see your bunk? Bunk? Where you crash? Crash? My my giggles, her English is worse than mine. Well, at least you two have something in common. Ciao. And how sweet. Happy time holograms, corporate office. So Mr. Happy Time is an expert on mothership security. Only one way to find out. It's time. Come on. We're inside a portal. Something tells me we're not here for happy time.
Liam. Bulger. Renee. How the hell are you? Should have known. So you're the one who hired Vera to steal Mel's relic. Steal? Such an ugly word. All I wanted to do was borrow it for a while. Now, how about a cappuccino? I've got this new Moroccan blend, smoother than silk. Let's try to change the subject. You know what that relic means to the Talons, and you know Zawar's crazy enough to do just about anything to get it back, so why would you take such an outrageous risk? Trust me, it's for a good cause. Your cause nearly got Vera killed. Killed? I was the one who saved her. The energy vortex almost suffocated her. Luckily, I had this with me. An energy disruptor. So you shorted out the vortex. I followed Vera to the rendezvous, just to play it safe. Look, I didn't come to you guys because I wasn't ready yet. Ready? For what? I know I told you that I was going to take some time off, smell the roses, but I couldn't let go. Call me obsessed, but I couldn't stop thinking about how to get rid of the talons, you know? Join the club. How'd you get access to all this stuff? <laughs> With a little help from Ronald Sandoval. Voice recognition protocol. Sandoval. Ronald. Free pass to the mothership. Nice. I've got Sandoval covered. Voice code, retinal scan, DNA, everything I need to get where I have to go. Anyway, I've replicated Talon technology. I've intercepted their transmissions, and I've even tried reasoning like a Talon. And I've come up with one inescapable conclusion. Which is? The Talons were more evolved 2,000 years ago than they are today. So I went back to the files that Emma King downloaded from Mal's relic. Now, my translation isn't perfect, but from what I could decipher, the final chapters of, of Mal's manuscript are a primer for synthesizing core energy. I'm impressed. Think of it. If I If humanity can access the final chapters before Zaor, the Talons will give us anything we want. We can finally win Earth back. But Mael designed the manuscript so that only Zaor and Liam can access the text. Maybe, maybe not. But I won't know for sure until I get my hands on the relic. If the Talons find out you're involved, you're a dead man. Look, we can either do this together or we can work against each other. I'm not backing off. Sounds to me like we don't have a choice. Great. So it'll be just like old times, then. What can you tell us about Vera's supplier? <sighs> Daniel Fratelli, volunteer second class assigned aboard the mothership. I tried contacting him, but he hasn't responded. Computer access volunteer database, active personnel. Locate Fratelli, Daniel E. Fratelli, Daniel E. Records classified. Override classified status. Companion protector security protocol 50079. You've accessed a confidential file, Major. Explain your reasons. Daniel Fratelli may have been involved in a crime against the Talons. Volunteer Fratelli died tragically in a plasma explosion early this morning. Not to speak ill of the dead, but I heard a rumor Fratelli was smuggling contraband from the mothership. That's currently under investigation. My sources tell me that an art dealer, Vera Rizzori, was Fratelli's best customer. Now, if memory serves, Ms. Rizzori is an acquaintance of yours. Rizzori. The name's familiar. Is she wanted for questioning? Not officially. But should she contact you, please notify me immediately. You're always the first on my list. I'll stick a fork in this turkey. He's done. Did he give you the name of Azori's client? No, but he did confess to running a smuggling ring. Tate, I don't care who's stealing ashtrays from the mothership. I want what's inside that relic. I thought only Kincaid and Zor can open the manuscript. Let me tell you what I think. Whoever commissioned the theft wouldn't risk Armageddon unless he or she found a way to break my L's encryption code. But you don't know that for sure. Incinerate the body when you're finished. Well, I hope you're hungry. That's food? Beta carotene chips and celery juice happen to be a great way to kickstart your metabolism. Gloves. 
You see? She's trying to poison me. Oh, you're being melodramatic. I am not melodramatic. Liam, dimmi. Mi vuole ammazzare? Huh? Io sono certa che mi vuole invelenare. Melodramatica! Get my email? Oh, yeah. Che cosa incredibile! Well, I can get a hug? Sure. Sure. Oh, listen, hey, I've got some stuff back at the lair. Could you come and help me pack it up? Yeah, yeah, sure. Good, thanks. I beg you, please. I cannot stay in this sardine can another moment. There's no heat. I'm freezing. I need someone to keep me warm. Oh, please. Here. You can take my smart coat. That's not what I had in mind. <sighs> What's a smart coat? Only the latest in wearable technology. This baby's equipped. Solar panels for recharging, a UV protective lining. It's like wearing a personalized mainframe. And you can program it to keep the temperature you like. Does it come in black too? Sorry, it's an original. Yes, it's a little too original for my taste. Suit yourself. Zora wants me on the mothership. To decode Mael's manuscript? I wonder what he's gonna do when he finds out he's missing. I'll know soon enough. Keep an eye on Vera. I'll be back as fast as I can. This time, if you withhold any effort to open the manuscript, you shall remain aboard the mothership until we succeed. I wasn't holding out on you. Silence. Concentrate, Major Kincaid. Open your mind to what you see before you. So... What have you done? It is a forgery. You knew the relic was missing, but you did not inform me? I couldn't be certain. Rest assured, I already have operatives in the field. I do not wish to hear your feeble reassurances. Mothership security has yet again been violated, and I hold you responsible. I should execute you directly for your incompetence. That would be a strategic error. I'm your best hope at recovering what was stolen. And you, Major Kincaid, you had no knowledge of the theft? I heard a rumor that Volunteer Fatale was running a smuggling ring, but he died before I could question him. Stealing Ma'el's sacred manuscript is an act of war. If the relic is not returned within four hours, I will destroy a major city on the North American continent. Amore, you really believe Zor will do this? Zor's out of his mind. He's sitting on enough power to pulverize the planet. Uh, allora, let's find some nice big bombs that can stop him. We can't fend off a Talon attack. We don't have the technology. I've alerted the Atlantic National Alliance, but the best that they can do is wave a white flag. This isn't a game, Vera. Our only hope to save the planet is to find that relic now. What else haven't you told me? Amore, I tell you everything. Everything. Listen to me. The Talon's most valuable artifact is missing. And they're willing to wage an interspecies war over it. War? Well, me, I was just trying to make a living. Well, maybe you should look into another line of work. Liam. Amore, please, I beg you, I'm so sorry. I, I, I took a few liberties with the import laws, okay? Yes, but only because, you know, I, I have the new gallery now, and it's just so expensive to remodel. Well, your new gallery is gonna be a gravel pit, unless we find that relic and bring it back to the mothership in three hours. Okay, va bene, then that's what we'll do, okay? So, it was those ghastly talons who nearly had me killed in that uh, vacuum. No, it was your old friend Sandoval, and he deliberately kept the operation off the books, which is never a good sign. 
Ah. Well, when this is over, I'll have to give him a big piece of my mind. Well, right now, you're gonna stay here. And if you remember anything, you make sure you glow with me. Capish. Si. Va bene. Va bene. King's file for Mal's manuscript. This must be the backup. Shut it off. Oh, come on. Imagine what could happen if we could decode the other chapters. You planted those discs so I'd find them, didn't you? Yeah, but the secret to synthesizing core energy. Come on, that's got to twist your skirt just a little. Augur, you don't even have the relic. Not yet. I told you no, and I meant it. Come on, you're the key. Your mind works in ways no one else's does, not even mine. That's saying a lot, right? I'm out of here. Wait, wait, wait. You could be the only human being in two millennia advanced enough to decipher Mail's encryption code. You think multi-dimensionally. That's a gift. It's a curse. When my head goes into multi, it's, it's, it's like I'm in another reality. You think in theorems and conjectures instead of words and numbers. No one else can do that. It fries my brain. I, I... I never know if I'm gonna pull out of it. Yes, but you always do. Come on. Just asking for a little favor. No, you're out of favors. There's a saying that goes, remember the Alamo. I remember. You sprung me from that research facility in Alamo. I was gonna spend the rest of my life there as a lab rat because of this gift of mine. I gave you a new identity so you wouldn't have to. Did you do it for me, Augur? Or did you do it because you thought that one day you could use me? Whoever unlocks the secret to synthesizing core energy controls the destiny of humanity. It's not my problem. My lunch. It's the relic, isn't it? Basta, Renee. Mm, I don't think so. Oh, come on now. Let me just see if I've got this story straight, okay? Now, when you were ambushed by that energy vortex, you realized you might have another potential buyer, a better buyer. So you grabbed the relic from Fatali, stashed it in a safe deposit box at the bank, hoping you would find out who set the trap so you could sell it to the highest bidder. Are you getting close? Is there anything wrong with maximizing a profit? Well, to start with, you abused your relationship with Liam. You knew he'd lead you to the other buyer. So you told him you didn't know where the relic was when you had it all along, right here. Renee, men exploit women all the time. What's the harm in reversing the cliche, huh? What's wrong, what's wrong, Vera, is that you are a liar and a thief. Yeah, see, I, I thought we were friends. You know, that, that's not nice, Mary. That's, that's, that's not nice. Mary, you're in over your head. Take the relic to Liam. If you come clean now, maybe he'll still be able to protect you. Hmm? Bella, I don't think you're in any position to be giving orders. You listen to me. In less than three hours, Zawar starts killing innocent people. Do you want that? Give me your global and your weapon. Damn me. Andiamo, andiamo. Bene. I believe this is now set to overload. It would 
be such a shame if someone got hurt. Ms. Rizzori, I was surprised to receive your call. And I was surprised to receive your energy vacuum, which, by the way, ruined my hair. As we discussed, perhaps I can compensate you for the inconvenience. Well, many. I didn't expect Vera to have a gun. I can't believe I let her get away. You did what you had to. You saved lives. Any luck finding her? She's not on the communication grid. Try tracking my global. If we're lucky, she didn't think of turning off the locator. There she is, at the gallery. On my way. Oh, need some help with those bags? Liam. I'm so glad you're here. I was just coming to see you. Cut the act, Vera. Liam knows everything. I'll take that. Grazie. Who'd you sell out to, Sandoval? Amore, you told me he was going to kill me. We would have heard by now if Sandoval had returned the relic to the mothership. What's he holding out for? You think I know? That piccolo man is crazy. He threatened to kill me if I didn't give him the name of my client. You told him Augur hired you? He offered me $300,000. I turned him down gold. So you didn't give him a name? I wrote it down on a piece of paper. Amore, he threatened to break all of my bones. August not answering. Let's get over there now. What do you want to do with her? Oh, don't worry about me. I, I won't move until you come back. You bet you won't. Liam, que bestia. Liam! Auger! Come on, I know you're here. I can smell the cappuccino. There you are. What, you're giving me the silent treatment? Street, leave, now. Look, I know you're mad at me, but... I thought about what you said, and I think maybe you have a point. You don't have to say anything. Yes, I do. It's not because I owe you, because I don't. But if synthesizing core energy is really such a big deal, then maybe it really is my destiny. Maybe I really am the only one who can decode the manuscript. I don't think we've met, Miss Street. Street, run! This facility, is at your disposal. We're going to need an interdimensional generator. What for? So if we... Do you want us to explain nine-dimensional chaos mathematics or decode the manuscript? Get them what they want. An ID generator? Can't they portal out? Not without a displacement modulator. Go. Look. The chances are we're not going to make Zor's deadline. Now, are you willing to die? Let's make sure we understand each other. I will control the secret of synthesizing core energy. Okay, okay, we get it. But what if we flame out? Then you die with me. Oh, and Miss Street, We've done an exhaustive global search, and your DNA doesn't appear to be on record anywhere. Apparently, you don't exist. Another bureaucratic snafu. What a surprise. 
You have one hour and 57 minutes left. Sandoval's biochemical signature. Blue algae shake. It's got auger, it's got street as well. Sandoval finally got off the deep end, less than two hours left, and he still hasn't returned the relic. Well, the Druidians ignored him and sent a raiding party. The Talons are dying. His entire power base could be gone in an instant. Unless he controls the secret to synthesizing core energy. That explains why he's kept this operation off the books. He's got to be pretty desperate by now. Mm. Augur said there might be a way to access Miles' data without Zor. But who's he going to use as the human element? Well, if he can replicate Zor's signature, he can replicate yours. But the relic won't work unless it recognizes a human intellect equal to the Talons. Augur's a genius, but does that make him equal to the Talons? Mm. There's only one person smarter than Augur. Would Augur involve Street in something this dangerous? We won't know until we find them. Obviously, you have some idea on how to do that. I'm gambling Street's smart code is tuned to the same frequency as her global. Need a break. I don't have time. None of this would have happened if it weren't for you. Oh, look, I'm sorry I got you involved. Might as well be back at that research lab in Alamo. Hey, 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 Street, come on. You don't mean that. Don't I? No. My life is over. All I am now is a, a freak, a pawn in some big intergalactic game. But the worst part of all, is that I thought you were my best friend. I thought I could trust you. Street, look. I'm sorry for what I did, okay? It was wrong, I know that. You just give me a chance to make, make things right. Can you? Either I get this hunk of scrap metal to work and give Sandoval what he wants, or the Talons do a major lambada on planet Earth. Hey, listen, what if I told you there's another option? I'd say you're delusional. But you trust me enough to help me, right? What do you have in mind? I was thinking of a little interdimensional sludge. Signal, but it's weak. Durham, North Carolina. She's in an abandoned military facility. Auger, Street and I are being held hostage by you know who. I was able to sneak out a signal by piggybacking it on an ID frequency. Won't Sandoval detect it? ID cyber sludge is thicker than molasses. Listen, Sandoval's ready to call Zor's bluff. They're both out of their minds. We've got a fix on you. We'll get there as fast as we can. Can you brief us on the security system? Getting in there won't be the challenge. It's getting out that'll be a little sticky. You'll need to bring a couple of toys. Recognition protocol, Alice Joseph. Identity confirmed. Access granted. Voice recognition protocol. Sandoval. Ronald. Identity confirmed. Access granted. Four levels down. Report. I don't have audio because of the ID feedback, but it looks like they're doing something right. Notify me as soon as they finish the download.
One more firewall, and presto, I'll be in the main security system. 648. They should be inside by now. It's your call. Well, Liam's never let us down before. Toxic levels of ionic radiation have been detected. What the hell? Commence evacuation procedures immediately. Toxic levels of ionic radiation have been detected. Commence evacuation procedures immediately. Toxic levels of ionic radiation have been detected. Commence evacuation procedures immediately. No one is to leave the building, is that clear? Damn it! Talk to me, Tate. Surveillance system's down. Send a security detachment to the lab, on the double. Okay, let's go. Come with me. What took you so long? Save the reunion for later. One displacement modulator? Okay, this won't be pretty, but we'll have 90% of a standard ID portal here. You might lose your hair. I'll be here any minute. Let's go, move it! Everybody inside the portal. Come on, Auger. Okay, this should work. I'm having trouble modulating the ID conduit. You can do it, Auger. I can't get the displacement modulator to work. Here, let me try. First thing, polarity. Here. Uh-oh. A deal, Sandoval. You keep my friends out of this, and I won't let Zora know you were holding out on him. So, you managed to avoid an interspecies conflict by less than one half hour. The relic was discovered in the laboratory of an abandoned military bunker in North Carolina. When Major Kincaid informed me of its location, I immediately dispatched a SWAT team to recover it. Who masterminded the theft? We don't know. The bunker was destroyed in the attack, obliterating any evidence. What of the art dealer who made the original arrangements? We were never able to identify her. But I can assure you, Zoor, the mothership smuggling ring is shut down permanently. There will be no more thefts. Recent experience has taught me that your reassurances mean absolutely nothing. You are demoted to security level two until further notice. Yes, Zoor. Place your hand on the relic, Major. Concentrate. Focus your mind on nothing but what is before you. I have combed your mind, Major, and I am now convinced. Of what? You are not withholding any effort. You truly have an inferior intellect. Unfortunately, it will take quite some time for your species to evolve to a level equal to the Talons. I only hope that we can evolve fast enough to save you from extinction. So I guess you expect me to thank you for saving me from the Talons. You're welcome. Ciao, amore. Ciao. Try and stay out of trouble? What fun would that be?
Hey, I guess uh, we'll never know if you could have cracked Miles code, huh? Guess not. Yeah, but if you did, could you imagine how you would have changed everything? I mean, you could have saved the world from Talon oppression. <sighs> never thought of myself as a superhero before. Well, you know, you can do anything you want to do, Street. That's why I love you so much. Give me a hug. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I guess we probably shouldn't be seen together for a while. Probably not. <laughs> Augur, what I said before was true. You really are my best friend. everything she does. The nanobots from the Standard have been in our bloodstream 27 hours and have begun to coalesce. Is there any way to fine-tune the reception? As time goes by, the picture will improve and Miss Street will have no idea what's going on. So, do you want me to pick her up? Not yet. Right now I want to watch. <laughs> 